Hello all, in this video we are going to discuss problem number 9.3, standard 12 physics, ray optics. Now we are given that there is a tank which is filled with water and the height of the water from the bottom is about 12.5 centimeters. So I can say that this one, this gap is 12.5 centimeters, which means the bottom of the tank is at a depth of 12.5 centimeters. So that's why I'm going to call this as HO the real depth. Now, when you are going to look from the uh, rarer medium or when you or when the observer is in the rarer medium, the base or the object which is at the bottom appears to be raised up due to the refraction. Okay, So, this is the location where the base or the object at the bottom is going to appear. Now, from the top surface, this depth is known as apparent depth. Now, this is given as 9.4 centimeters and it is because they have said in the question very clearly that the apparent depth of the needle which is measured by the microscope of course instead of your eye you can also put the microscope and view this so if you are viewing through the microscope this appears to be somewhere over here so the apparent depth is 9.4 now we know this formula that hi upon ho that is equal to refractive index of medium 2 upon refractive index of medium 1. Refractive index of medium 2 means where you have refracted ray. So the incident ray would be coming out of the out of the object and then it would be going towards the eye of the observer. So wherever you have refracted ray that is air that medium would become medium number 2. So this will be 1 divided by refractive index of medium 1 means where you have the incident ray that is mu. Let us call this as mu and that will be equal to 9.4 centimeter divided by 12.5 centimeter. So which means if you cross multiply mu that is equal to 12.5 by 9.4 this answer is approximately 1.33 and anyhow the refractive index of water is about 1.33 which means that when the ray of light comes from air into water its speed decreases by 1.33 times and the wavelength also decreases by 1.33 times. Now, in the next part of the question, if they are saying that if we replace this liquid, I mean this water with some different liquid, which is even more denser than the water and its refractive index is given as suppose 1.63, yes. So what is the effect that is going to happen? So let me explain it to you with the help of ray diagram first, then we will of course apply this simple equation and get the answer. Suppose this is the surface. And in the earlier case, what used to happen was, something like this. So the, you please ignore this one, right? So a ray which is going out, now your eye will receive this ray and if it will see the image to be somewhere over here. Now this is in case of water. Now suppose if you replace this water by a denser liquid, then at the same angle of incidence, the angle of refraction would increase, which means the ray would bend like this and then you will be seeing the image comparatively up with respect to water. So in that case, the apparent depth in case of this liquid would even decrease. It is because more is, more is the denser liquid, more it is going to bend the ray. So that means more shifted the object is going to appear and at the lesser depth from the top, right? So the same formula that we are going to apply that is HI upon HO that is equal to refractive index of medium 2 upon refractive index of medium 1. Now we are supposed to find HI. So now we are supposed to find HI. So HI would be equal to HI upon HO that is 12.5 centimeters because the height of the bottom with respect to the top surface remains the same. Of course this is 1 and then this becomes 1.63. So HI is equal to 12.5 divided by 1.63. Of course this is in centimeter it does not have any unit the refractive index and this answer would be somewhere around 7.66. Okay, 
so now they are asking that the distance through which you are supposed to move the microscope right so earlier the microscope was focusing here now the microscope has to be shifted by this much of the distance so the difference in both the apparent depths is the shift of the microscope so i should say that it was the shift of the microscope should be done from 9.4 cm minus 7.66 cm which turns out to be approximately 1.74 cm so you'll have to see you you have to assume like this that here the microscope was very near to the surface so earlier it was seeing this now since the image is raised up you'll have to shift the microscope up in order to receive the rays from here okay so that is the answer